Hey everybody, it is Liz with Liz Art Finds and we are here today with haul number 22 video. Crazy week! Um, first off, this is the third time I am recording this video due to some technical difficulties. So hopefully I don't forget anything. I'm gonna start where I left off last week on the cliffhanger with the shirt, whoops, with the, <laughs> with the really short shirt. 23 inches in length. And after doing the unshrinking, we got to 28 inches in length, and it looks more like a shirt now. Okay, so that is a positive. The negative is it didn't hold. So when I washed it and air dried it, it is like 25 and a half inches, so it kind of split the difference. So I can't really sell it. Not a shirt that's going to shrink as soon as somebody throws it in the wash. I'm going to attempt the process one more time and then wash it a couple times. If it holds like a normal shirt shape, um, I may try to sell it. My guess is that was a fun little exercise, but I don't think I can sell this shirt. So before we get into today's um, stuff, we'll go through really quickly the things that sold. In the past week, I sold seven more things. Um, I don't think next week will be as good because I haven't actually listed anything for probably three weeks. So this week is going to be all about listing since I already have done the shopping for next week's video. So anyway, last week, this past week, I sold this amazing carved wooden Mayan mask. I had paid $9.99 for it. It sold for $50. Okay, so that was great. This set of four glasses... Crystal Dark, I think was the brand, uh, $7.96 paid. They sold for a $25. Little Bee Mug, I love this thing, $2.99. It sold for $12.99. The um, Demadco, Dean Krauser is the artist, um, Hummingbird Plate. I paid $3.99. This actually sold for $25.99. So a little aside about Dean Krauser, um, I love his work. Um, I had three plates. I had a hyacinth, like a flower. I had this hummingbird and then I have a bear. The bear hasn't sold yet. Um, his butterflies, his birds, his, um, flowers set, uh, seem to sell pretty well, especially if they're colorful. Um, the bear, not so much. So just something to keep in mind. Like people like cats, they like butterflies, they like birds, they like flowers, anything bright and happy, um, but probably not the face of a bear. So that one's probably going to sit for a bit, but this sold for $25.99. All right, then my beautiful glass tree. It had a couple broken leaves. Um, I bought it for $2.99. It sold for $20. I took a best offer on that at $20. I had it priced higher, um, but I am happy that that is going to a someone who's going to love it. Um, this shirt, it's a t-shirt. The brand is The Mountain. This is vintage. Um, they did a lot of pieces that were, um, tie-dye, like a scrunchy kind of dye shirt. And then they would do screen printing on top of it, different animals, um, and nature themes. Um, this one I paid $4.99 for. It sold for $25.99. Um, and then lastly, my Tanala Partridge, I paid $5.99 for that. It sold for $10.99. It had some condition issues. That is why it sold at that price. Okay, let's talk about this week. So a little crazy, like I said, I went out a lot, more than I should have. I've been trying to avoid my, doing my taxes. Um, they're done. They just haven't been submitted yet, but they will. Anyhow, first piece, Jeff Leedy, art. It is a golfing scene. Um, he does humorous art. He is still alive. He lives in Boise, Idaho now. He lived in California for a while and then moved to Texas, Houston coast, then up to Boise, Idaho. Um, he does what he calls humorous art. The title on this one is kind of like a swear word. And then it's, I mean, it's the, you know, all the characters like they used to do in the old cat cartoons and then it says a shank um, and it is signed and numbered over on the side there and this is number 173 of 450. now this piece is actually still on his website 
it has a different title now, something about paradise. Um, and I think it's a different size. Okay. So when they do the numbered, the signed and numbered, that 450 doesn't mean there's only 450 um, prints of any type. It means there's 450 things on paper in this size. Okay. So he can not now decide, okay, I'm going to now print this in eight by 10 or in 20 by 30 or whatever, big or small or whatever, or I'm going to print this now on canvas instead of printing on paper and they'll start the numbering all over. So the signed and numbered refers to there are only 450 pieces printed on paper this particular size, okay? That is my understanding of how the numbering system works. Um, this particular print, he is currently selling a different size and I didn't check if it was bigger or smaller, but he is currently selling them for $59 without the frame. Um, so just the actual art. Um, so I'm thinking maybe 39 to 45 on eBay for that um, with the frame. I've been doing pretty well with my art when, when I list art on eBay. Um, people seem to really be enjoying that. So when I get more boxes that can fit the art that I am buying, um, I will get those listed. So there was that one and then a really cool one. Now, what's cool about this is the artist, okay? So you may recognize this if you are familiar with art. I'm sorry, I'm reflecting my ring light there. Um, this was actually done by Senator, the late Senator, Diane Feinstein, okay? Um, she loved doing art with colored pencils as a way to unwind and relax. She was self-taught. She never took art classes. And she also did not sell her pieces. What she did was she would raffle, no, she would donate them to different charities to auction off to raise money, okay? So that's kind of cool. Um, so this particular piece is from 2008. It is not a numbered piece. I've seen others, other prints of this that are numbered. So I don't know if this was before or after or a different size, like I just mentioned. Um, but these guys are selling on eBay, the framed signed prints, uh, 275 to 350. And I saw one appraisal online where somebody said that they had something, it was a different print um, by the Senator. And in October of last year, it was appraised at $500. I think 275 to 350 is more reasonable or more like likely, but I paid $3.99 for the Jeff Leedy. I paid $4.99 for the Diane Feinstein. So both of those were great pickups. I'm really excited about them and um, we'll get them listed when, when we can here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so then I got some shirts, some clothes, and most of it is for me. So the shirt I'm wearing, I am in love with this shirt. It's fun, it's comfortable, it's just a, like a burnout tee. I paid $1.95 for this um, at, I think, Savers, and I think it was the only thing I picked up when I went out that day. Um, okay, I also picked up, just really quick, I'm not gonna count these in the numbers or anything, but just a couple more things for me. I picked up a little sleep shirt. Um, I paid a dollar. 62 for this. It says, how you doing, friends, right? It's just an oversized, um, really, really, really comfortable, soft fabric um, t-shirt that I will use as a sleep shirt. So I got that for me. I got this sweatshirt. Um, this I also paid, nope, I paid $1.87 for this. Okay, it says Park City, Utah. It's purple. It's got a little, little place to put your hands. Um, Kind of like that. So $1.87. So the way that I got these prices, $1.62, $1.87, um, and I've probably mentioned this before, the Goodwills in our area do 75% off if you're a member um, of things of a certain color, like they announce a different color that week. And it's typically things that haven't sold. They've been on the racks for four weeks and they want to clear them out. So um, everything that I picked up, all the clothing, were the 75% off pieces. 
including, well, no, not including this one. This one was on sale, but it was a different store. So this guy is the other one that I picked up and it's a V-neck and it's kind of a tie-dye type piece. And it's the kind of thing you see a lot. Um, they're imported like from India um, and you see them like for beach cover-ups. And this was a short sleeve shirt. It's a one size. So it's, you know, just a comfy fabric. It's got sleeve uh, armholes and the sleeves. Um, I tried it on. I don't know if it's my colors. Purple is definitely my color. Just I'm not sure about the golds and browns and stuff. But um, I liked it. So I'm probably going to hold on to that. I may decide to sell this one down the road. And they sell about $12 to $15. Um, I paid $1.62 for it. Um, so yeah, if I decide to sell it, that's the deal there. I did pick up one shirt to sell. This is a company called Berek, B-E-R-E-K. I'm not sure how you say that. They make animal print shirts. Super, like it feels like a really rich luxe fabric. They're embellished. This one is embellished for Christmas. So I will wait and sell this later, but it's got sequins and you can just see the embellishment on here and his beard is all these little snowflakes with pearls and it kind of goes all the way to the bottom and just like it's snowing from his beard. Um, I just thought it was really cool. There's not one exactly like this online. There is one that is just the animal print. There's one with the animal print and then a gold Christmas tree embroidered on the front. Um, and those sold, let's see, like 12 to 20, uh, no, 18 to $25. I paid $1.87 for this shirt. So I think when it gets closer to the holidays, I think this one will sell because it's so unique and so fun um, and in such great condition. Like it looks new. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. And it's just, it's just so cute. Okay, so that was the clothes. Um, now I got, just kind of organized things a little bit here. Um, I got this dish, okay? I was very excited when I saw it. Um, I thought it might be Italian glass. I also thought maybe it wasn't. Um, it looks a lot like an empoli jar and especially this little lip, you know, the, the shape is very similar to what you see in empoli. I wasn't convinced because of this applied um, handle like you can see that the glass, it's like they take hot glass and they apply it. It's not part of the actual blowing and molding process. This is blown glass, there's no seams. Um, and then the base, the swirled base was applied and the handle was applied. When I looked it up in the store, I was seeing a lot of stuff that said Empoli, but I just kind of wasn't sure. So rather than post it in the Empoli group and um, really get embarrassed if it wasn't. I put it up in the Old Things Thrifters and Pickers group on Facebook. And um, one person said it was in Poli. And one person said, hey, I got something that's really similar and I got it in Japan. Uh, or was said made in Japan. So basically hers didn't have this lip like this. It was more just straight up here to the, to the like from the wide part up to the top. Um, but it did have this clear glass top and it did have a similar bottom. Um, I've asked to see a picture of the label. I haven't seen that yet, but I have a feeling this might actually be Japanese glass and not Italian glass. I don't think it matters. The solds are very similar for the ones that have this thing on top and the ones that don't. So when I say the ones that don't, I'm gonna show you a picture. I printed this out from Empoli. Um, so that green piece in the, actually all of this is Empoli, but this particular piece, it has that swirled base, but see the top is different. That's what they call a circus tent top. And it's just different. It's what you would expect to see on something that's Empoli. So the fact that this has this thing here is, is really throwing me. So Empoli is a region in Italy. Um, and I think I am going to post it to the Empoli group and just say, hey guys, Empoli, Japan, what do you think? And see what they say. 
So anyway, I paid $2.99 for that. It'll probably bring around $29.30 ish, um, which is great, right? Still 10 times, 10 times the money. So that's really good. All right. Next thing I found there, this is at a Goodwill midweek, was this decoupage duck. Um, I picked it up because it was just so intriguing to me. Decoupage is something that we did as a kid, or I did when I was a kid, probably in the 70s. Um, decoupage, if you're not familiar, we used to take like pictures from magazines and then this Mod Podge like glue. It's like a really thin Elmer's glue and a special applicator. And you would take like, it's like making a collage. You would take the pieces and you would layer them. You know, you'd use the glue, you'd put it on and you'd put more glue and you put another piece and then you kind of build up this whole entire thing. Um, and then you kind of use the glue as a lacquer at the end. So this is decoupage with some sort of a floral paper type thing covering a ceramic I don't know if you can hear that ceramic duck and it's got felt on the bottom. Um, it's imported. I'm not clear on exactly from where. Um, looks like the eyes were painted on afterwards. And it's in, you know, it's in good shape. So they don't sell for a ton. I just have never had one. And then of course I picked up one yesterday, a dog um, at the Goodwill grand opening, which I will show you next week. Um, but anyway, I paid $2.99 for him and prices are all over the place. I saw sold $8, $10, $12, $12.99, $12 25 and change, and one at $58 and something. I have no idea what the difference is between the $8 decoupage and the $58 decoupage. So it would, they were all the animals, you know, different animals and whatnot. So I don't know. Um, he, he will be worth whatever somebody is willing to pay for him, but hopefully it will be more than $2.99. So that was our decoupage duck. I also picked up this little candle. Not worth a ton. I paid $2.99 for it. They probably sell around $10 or $12 if you find the right buyer. This is not used, not burned. Um, it was made in China, but probably back in, I don't know, 70s, 80s, 90s, um, I used to love these things. This one, you may or may not be able to see it, but the little dots inside the centers of the flowers, uh, can you see it? They glow yellow. This is black light. So they're purple. And when you hit them with a black light, they actually glow yellow. So at night when it's dark and you're playing around with your black light, basically all of the little centers of the flowers, all the little dots glow yellow. So fun little fact. Don't know if it'll help sell the candle, but uh, it's 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 a really pretty one. So it just gives me nostalgia every time I see them because I used to I used to buy things like that for my grandma, my grandmother when she was alive. Anyway, okay, let's move on. Um, I got a purse. I got a Betsy Johnson purse, and it is like new. So I paid up. I paid seven ninety nine for it but it is an animal print with floral in pink and blue, like a, yeah, I don't know, like roses, I guess. Um, the bottom, you can see there's no wear. There's no scratches or anything on the metal. Um, the little hearts are intact. There's a heart here. There's a heart as a pull here. Um, the fabric inside is fantastic. It truly does not look used. There's no dust in there. There's no anything in there. Um, it appears to be brand new. So these guys, um, I paid $7.99. They sell $25 and up. Um, I think this will do well. It's got a lot of pockets. I didn't show you all of them, but it's got a lot of, got a lot of pockets, zipper pockets and snap pockets and pockets on the inside. And I think that will, uh, will do well. I was pretty excited to, to see that hang in there when I walked by. All right, next. Um, okay, so I picked up this set of six. I'm just going to show you three. 
So there's six, basically two each, red, green, blue, cordial glasses from a company that says VMG in the center, and then it says Reims, R-E-I-M-S, or REM, France. Um, they have these other cut glasses that sell really, really well. Um, I saw France, and I was like, ooh, France, that's got to be worth something. Um, I probably paid too much for these. I thought also that this was gold and these could be vintage. Um, when I did a first look when I on my phone, what was coming up was antique. And I'm like, ooh, okay, these are great shape for antique. Um, these are not antique. They're vintage. They're from 70s, 80s, or 90s. Um, and I paid $1.99 per glass. So for six of them, I paid like eleven. 94, which was too much. Um, they are selling at about $4 a glass. So maybe 20 to 24. So maybe I'll double my money if I'm lucky. Um, but just some interesting tidbits. Uh, the guy that started this factory, his, his son, I guess, I don't know if it was his son or him. Um, the gentleman started the factory. His name was Arthur Papon, Papon or something like that. Um, and he started the factory in 1911 in Rheims, France. Uh, the VMC stands for Verrier Mécanique Champenois. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, but anyway, they had this factory from 1911. And um, in the 1960s, it basically just made glass throughout. Um, and they had 2,000 employees in the 60s. But then in the 70s, I guess there, it sounds like France was struggling and there was a production decline and an oil crisis and social conflicts, so just a lot of world angst. Um, there was a strike in the company. And in June 77, I'm going to read this, okay? This is from the internet. In June 1977, there was a strike outside the factory and three workers were shot from a car, one of whom was killed immediately. Now, these are workers from the factory. It turned out that Mr. Papon, in cooperation with an extreme right-wing militia, was be behind this himself. So he was sentenced in the late 90s for crimes against humanity, and the factory was sold um, to the largest glass producer in the area at the time, Owen, Owens, Illinois, and they closed in 2009. So I guess I was just supposed to pick up that glass so I could learn a little bit more about this company, VMC, and it's a uh, somewhat shady, shady past. Um, I thought that was interesting. So anyway, let us move on. Um, all right, we talked about all of that. So next, I found this really pretty little trinket plate. It's a heart, and it's got little heart balloons and a cloud. And these are all hand-painted. Everyone I've seen online is the same shape, same colors, but slightly different design. It is made in Italy, La Musa. Um, I paid $2.99 for this. Um, they're currently selling around 20 I, there was one that sold for $7.99, but that was in 2020, and the recent comps have been higher. There was one actually as high as $29. Um, so, I, you know, $15, $18, I think is a reasonable amount for that. Okay? All right. Then, then, <laughs> bought another painting. So this is another trip. This is a big one, and this one is not nearly as valuable as the other two. And it's much bigger. So uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. I'm going to lift it up. You can't see me. Anyway, it's a really pretty painting of cottages. Um, it looks like England. And I think the artist is British. And I think that's why I'm not able to find a whole heck of a lot about her. Um, it's signed. It's numbered. Her name, I think, was Joan... So, I don't think I wrote it down. Sanders? Yeah, Joan Sanders. The name of the piece is called Summer Splendor, and it's signed 213 out of 1,000. Um, there was a Joan Sanders back in the early 1900s, according to the internet. 
Um, but she had a hy hyphenated last name, so it was uh, something else Sanders that was a child prodigy that painted watercolors when she was in her teens, but then um, in her older age was painting oils. So I don't know, I don't think that's that old, right? I think it's a different Joan Sanders. Um, the only ones that I'm seeing that are similar to that, that are actually the same image, only sold like for $40. So I don't think there's a ton of value there because I don't think much is known about the artist. Um, I picked it up because it was watercolor, signed and numbered, um, and really pretty. Um, I don't know if that was the best pickup because it's it's a little heavy and it's going to be a pain to ship. Um, okay, then I saw these octopus shakers. Now, the only reason I picked these up, and I got another pair as well at a different place, I'm going to be onboarding to do live selling on Knickknacks, uh, which is a marketplace on the district app that is owned by and run by um, Jocelyn, the crazy lamp lady. I'm going to be onboarding uh, Friday and I'm going to learn, start learning how to do live selling. I know I've been talking about doing that. Um, what live selling is, is where you're actually showing things live and people are bidding on them live. So it's kind of live selling. That platform does a lot of quote unquote knickknacks. So smaller things, easier to ship, um, kitschy, fun, etc. They have some bigger things as well. And I mean, you can get anything there, but for starting, I wanted to pick up a, a couple of cute things that I think they're, um, their audience might like. These are not vintage though. I thought they were when I picked them up. I think they are more recent than that, but they're still adorable. Uh, there's a couple of octopus, obviously they're recent. The guy's holding a cell phone, duh. Um, so anyway, I picked those up and interestingly, there's a few listed right now around $30 for the pair. I paid um, $5.98 for them. Um, I think eight to 12 is reasonable. I don't think they're gonna be, uh, I don't think it's $30 worth of shakers. Um, I, I really think it's gonna be more eight to 12. All right, couple more things. One more place I went, um, I got another set of shakers. These look like golf balls and bunnies. They're like bunny golf balls. You can see that they are shakers. Um, they're cute, right? They're, they're, they have the little stoppery things. Um, these I paid only a dollar each, so I paid $2 for these, which is a much better price for buying um, little shakers and stuff. I don't think these are vintage either. Um, these actually have a bunch of solds around 12 to 15, so I think this is actually a better pickup than the octopus shakers. Okay, I also picked up two more things at this um, place. We picked up a plate. Now this is interesting. It's enamel and it's painting on enamel and it's a bunch of camels and I paid 50 cents for this, okay? The thing that intrigued me, it is written on the back and it says Iran Airport, August 5th, 1977. Okay, you can see that. So at first I thought it was artist signature. I think that someone picked this up as a souvenir in Iran um, and wrote on the back where they got it. So I think this Iran airport, August 5th, 1977, refers to when it was purchased rather than when it was created would be my guess. Um, I don't know more about it. There's not a lot to be found online. Um, this is either worth a little something or not very much. Um, I need to do a little more research on this, but it is definitely old. It's 1977. Um, and I just wrote TBD for the value because I really just have no idea. Um, so if I find something out, either that it's not worth much or that it's worth a fortune, I will let you guys know. Um, I got one more thing. I got this fish plate and it actually has a couple holes at the top for hanging. Okay, super cute. These actually do sell really well. I paid $2 for this. 
These guys sell uh, 25 to 45. It is redware. It's not signed. It is from Mexico, I believe, and it's got some glow. I don't know if you'll be able to, oh, you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, that's so sad. So at night, that yellow just fires up. Like it is really, really UV reactive. And yeah, it's just really hard to see. It looks like it's just a reflection, but you'll have to take my word that um, this is super UV reactive. But anyway, it's a fish plate. Um, I believe from Mexico, I paid $2 worth 25 to 45. So my total spend this week on these things, not including the pieces that I bought for myself, was around $63.83-ish, if I did the math right. Um, and the value of those pieces should be around $520. So not bad, that's about a little under 5X, um, plus I got some good clothes, so I think it's, I think I did okay. Um, really excited about next week. Um, I have a couple things I need to do some research on because again, it's one of those things, it could be something or it could be not, it could be nothing, right? And I got a couple paintings this morning that also could be really something, but uh, got to do some more research. So I look forward to that. Um, please like, please subscribe. Welcome to all of you new subscribers. Thank you for your likes and your comments and your shares. And we will see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.